We at Decryption Studios have been busy for the past year. Are you tired of the limitations of traditional game development? Do you dream of bringing your favourite games into the cutting edge world of Unreal Engine with just a click of a button? Well, the future is here. Introducing Game Ripper AI, the revolutionary next generation artificial intelligence that automates, optimizes, and redefines game extraction like never before. Game Ripper AI is the world's first fully autonomous AI powered game deconstruction and reconstruction engine. With advanced machine learning algorithms trained on millions of game assets, this groundbreaking technology effortlessly scans any provided game, extracting 3D models, textures, animations, sounds, and more in real time. But we didn't stop there. Our proprietary neural asset conversion system seamlessly translates outdated file formats into modern high fidelity assets, ensuring a flawless compatibility with Unreal Engine 5. The result? A fully reconstructed, fully playable Unreal project ready to tweak, mod or reinvent to your heart's content. Let's take a look at it in action and just see how easy it is. So we start with this Game Ripper AI where we have the two main models, the Nax and the Dolph. They're all the models that drive the game. If we come and open a command prompt in here, I'll just go to my D directory and we'll just demo all the way over to here. So it's as simple as just running the main Python PY in your terminal and the engine will start loading as you can see it's ticking away and then sometimes it's very quick if it's the first time running it it's got to initialize it's got to set itself up it can take a bit longer so you get prompted with this nice screen welcome to game ripper ai so what game shall we do first i think we should do the original grand theft auto san andreas so we'll do grand theft auto san andreas and they, okay, it knows how to extract that. It's not like worried about it. Where's the game's install path? So I've installed it on Steam over here. So let's go into San Andreas and I'll just copy the path like so. And let's paste it into there. There we go. So I put it into C. Where would you like to extract the project to? So I've helpfully got this folder over here in my download. So game demos, let's paste it in there. Okay, we've got a disclaimer. So this is just for educational and entertainment purposes because even though you're extracting it, it is not your assets. So type yes to continue. So we press yes, press enter. And now it's gonna sit chugging away. So it's now opening the assets. It's scanning through everything, indexing it so it knows where everything is to make it super fast. It's now extracting all the assets. So you can see we've got our project folder and all the assets from San Andreas have been added into here. There we go, so it's now converting it into an Unreal project. So this is going through all the assets, updating the models, updating the textures, the sounds, making it all Unreal compatible. There we go, it has now started creating the Unreal project. So you can see we've got the typical config and content folders. It will continuously sit adding all this in, putting in the right locations, making sure all the redirectors are working. Using our state-of-the-art deep Unreal learning framework, Game Ripper AI doesn't just extract files, it understands them. Our AI has been meticulously trained on thousands of game architectures to intelligently reconstruct environments, restore physics interactions, and rebuild game mechanics, all with near human precision. There we go, so we've now got a GTA SAU project, just like we would have if we were looking in the game itself. There we go. So now it's extracted every single asset into it. It's now running over them and upgrading them to use Nanite, Lumen, World Partition. So the game is very, very smooth. And that was it. Extraction complete. It's now saved it. If we check the size of it, you can see we've got a nice chunky game because it's all not compressed anymore. It's got all the latest upgrades. But let's open it and see. So it's currently in Unreal running over every single blueprint it's created. It's took a little while to do it. So you can see we've loaded up for the first time. It's compiling all the shaders. And yeah, we're getting San Andreas loaded in. You, I think we're in Blaine County, I think. You can see it's nicely chugging through it. Yeah, we can see San Fierro coming in. That's where we are. We're in San Fierro. There's the dome. There's the CJ's house. There we go. We're in. So I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. We're a bit fast. Let's press G. There we go. This is San Andreas, all ripped in and loaded in really that quickly. So let's go to some familiar locations. Where are we? Uh, there you go. CJ Street. 
How cool is that? That's pretty cool. And it's all here. As you can see, we can drive down here. Where's Big Smoke's house? It's there. So we've got that one there. It's so cool. I love extracting games and just seeing how the world's built. You get to see everything. We've got the little garage in San Fierro look. There we go. We could even go inside and see little bits. So you can see there's a small glitch there, but it's only very minor. But it is there. Oh, we've got Area 51 look. Has it done the underground place? Shall we have a quick look? Uh, it has. It's done the underground place as well. Let's just turn the night mode off. There you go. Look, it's all there as well. How cool is that? Yes, it is. There we go. There's the Four Dragons Casino. But yes, so as you can see, it's all there. And we've got all the characters, all the assets, every single bit of content you could need from the game. But the best part is it's also reconstructed the game's script files and turned it into Unreal Blueprints to make it work. But you can see we've got all sorts of stuff in the content drawer. We've got the characters, sound effects, vehicles, all sorts of different things, materials, vehicles. We've got the world aspects like that. But let's actually see what happens. Let's click play and see how it goes. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see we have it fully playing in San Andreas. So we're in the airport now. It's playing the initial cutscene because it's set all of that up for us, which is just awesome. Um, if we skip it, there we go. We skipped. And we're now being transported by Tenpenny. Let's skip that as well. And there we are. Here we go, running down the initial alleyway, all built into Unreal Engine. How cool is that? And it's even got the sounds, as you can hear. There we go. All extracted that easily. From AAA blockbusters to indie masterpieces, Game Ripper AI recognizes and adapts any game structure, ensuring perfectly optimized blueprints, lighting, and material setups inside of Unreal Engine, completely hands-free. So, whilst we've had a look at that, then let's back out. Let's go and have a look at some other games, what we can do. So we've done Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but what about Halo 3? Everybody loves Halo. So let's rerun the app again. Python 3, let's let it reinitialize. But I don't actually have the original Halo 3. But what I do have is the Master Chief Collection. And what we've done is we've built it in for games that are bundles of games, the ability to extract specific games out of it. So if I come in and say I want Halo 3 from the Master Chief Collection, it will say it knows how to extract it, so that's all good. Where's the games install path? So let's just go and copy that. So I will open this up. Uh, this is just another way you can get your path. Copy that. We'll paste it into here. There we go. Where do you want to extract it to? So we'll extract it to here. Disclaimer, it's for educational purposes only. Again, it is educational, but for modding, this should be so good. I'll just tap yes to get through that, and then it's gonna bypass it. So I'm gonna fast forward this section to let it zoom over it because you know it can take a while. At its core, Game Ripper AI isn't just a tool, it's a revolution. For too long, game assets have been locked away, inaccessible, trapped in outdated formats. But now, with the power of AI-driven automation, these barriers are gone. Whether you're a developer, a modder, or just a visionary, Game Ripper AI puts the power of game transformation into your hands. This isn't just another tool, it's the future of game development. And there we go, it has successfully extracted Halo 3. So let's open this up and let's just browse around what we've got. So while this is loading, let's hear from some of the community who have been using it to beta test before we announced it. Before I had Game Ripper AI in my life, I used to fight rats for cheese on the streets, homeless and desperate. Now I have so much money. I just bought my seventh mansion filled with supermodels, my 20th private jet, and my 3,000th yacht. Look at all this money I've got. Thank you, Game Ripper AI. Before Game Ripper AI, what can I say? I was living in my mother's basement with my girlfriend pregnant, my girlfriend's sister pregnant with my child, making no money for food. It, and my life was a mess. I was contemplating doing the only thing I could think, and joining a cult. Instead, that's when I saw the email from Decryption Studios for Game Ripper AI. It changed my life. Now, 
I've got my girlfriend's baby, I've got my girlfriend's sister's baby, and I've got another baby on the way from somebody else. It's fantastic. I'm making so much money with the tool, selling assets that aren't mine. And there we go. It looks to have loaded in. And can I just say, look at these shadows. How good does this look? Oh, we've even got the warthog here, all placed ready for you to come and pick up. It's minor texture glitch there, but that's completely okay. So you can see, we can zoom around the level. We've got some bad guys primed there, but I think that might just be leftover code from when Halo was developed. We can come in, we can either go inside, look. We can come inside the bunkers here, look. Oh, there's the blowout of the bunker. We can look round. How cool is this? You can zoom, we can zoom really out and we can see it's actually a lot of dead space. If you think of Halo, it's a very linear game. So even though you can see this here, look, it's just, it's just a plane, that's it. But when you're in the game over here and you're looking from this bunker over here, you can see it's just, it looks realistic and it works really well. But the shadows, the lighting, it's all been upgraded. It's all nanite driven, world partition, so it's really, really well done. But it doesn't just stop there with Game Ripper AI. It also works with games you've cloned from other platforms. So let's go and have a look at that. So these two are both PC based games, but in the demo games folder, I've backed up my version of Mario Kart 8 from my Wii U. Let's give Game Ripper AI an attempt at it and see how it goes. So it's going to initialize, what game would you like to do today? So I'll say, I want to do Mario Kart 8. And it says it does know how to extract it, okay. Where's the install path? So the install is a bit misleading. It is a demo path, but it's where it's installed. Let's do that one. Where would you like to extract it to? Let's do it right here. And let's see if it can attempt it. Because it will always try its best unless it categorically can't get it. So there we go, so it's already started cracking on with it. This opening game assets is the crucial part. It's where it's indexing and trying to go through every file and making sure it can gain access to it. It's built with so many different methods to try and go into it. And it seems to be cracking on with it. It thinks it knows how to do it. So you can see, temp, it is copying it. There we go. That one was fairly quicker because it's a smaller based game, but it seems to have flied straight through it. So let's load it up and see how well it's done. Oh, there we go. It loaded straight up and here we are. We're on one of the maps straight away, look. So you can see we've got a nice little map over here. Let's see if we can find the start line. Oh, I think, is this an underwater one? It might be. Let's follow the track and see where we get to. So you can see we've got bits over here. It comes around here. We jump up here. I think this is the water flute ones. There we go. How cool is that? Straight from the Wii U into Unreal Engine, ready to play on the PC. I think we should play it. Let's see how it goes if we play it now. There we go. Look at this. Mario Kart 8, all the sounds starting. Characters pre-selected. Interestingly, just assumed that we were on it. So it must be that there's one map per track and you simply start at the character selection screen. So what are you waiting for? Experience the next evolution in game technology. Powered by next-gen AI, soon evolving to quantum computing for limitless game extraction, Game Ripper AI is releasing soon. Join us in a world where every game is yours to create and play with. Thanks for watching.